Hi, my name is Vishal and I'm a senior trainer in multimedia education. I have a 18 years of industry experience and let's get started with the video. Hello guys, uh, so let's explore some more uh, procedural textures inside noises section. So I would like to start with the clouds here. So clouds are basically again uh, black and white texture which has got uh, highs and lows and the frequency of this texture can be increased by the scale value or it can be reduced uh, all the way to one so I'm connecting this to the height and uh, selecting that base material and then say view in 3d view then you should able to see this texture I I would like to connect uh, take a uniform color node okay and then choose uh, a gray color and then connect it sorry a gray doesn't uh, go well so I'm going to increase this to one one fifty gray value I'll just take that so you got the gray and you should able to see the surface uh, nicely displaced like that so it looks like a creature skin or a muddy wet muddy ground so you have a disorder which can change the phase of the texture okay so nothing fancy about it it's just a super cool um random noisy texture okay so let's pick the clouds 2 and then clouds 3 and see um, the difference so the clouds uh, 2 texture is basically having a low frequency wave in uh, the noise again um, you can just check it, it in the color uh, sometimes uh, okay this texture is a grayscale image if you want to connect it to the color you don't get the color because of this red dotted line is telling that uh, this is a three channel input but you are connecting only a black and white or single channel image in that case choose the gradient map connect the uh, clouds to that and uh, this one here then you should able to see that nice look so I select the base material and we have a uh, few options related to metallic so I'm reducing the metallic look to get that uh, result and you should able to see the way this clouds to is again this is a, a noise a noise texture and uh, cloud one is high frequency cloud two is a low frequency texture let's try the cloud three so cloud 3 is having a very high frequency grain in low frequency wave and it has got very unique uh, pattern too so I'm going to connect that to the height and I'm going to connect it to the color and then you should able to see that noise you see that high frequency noise what I'm talking and also the low frequency uh, again this low frequency is um, uh, white to black interpolation is very sharp uh, something like peak uh, uh, mountains so uh, whereas this has got that round mountains this has got sharp mountain peaks in terms of the height value so you can change the uh, scale and uh, you could able to see uh, you're getting um, a muzzle uh, or organ finish generally I see uh, lungs will have that unique color I'll just try to show you so I'll go to the color edit gradient and then select that nice uh, pink color and uh, here I'm going to select that dark pink okay you should able to see that nice uh, muzzle uh, texture to it especially the lungs um, 
so you can just try seeing this uh, with other textures too it, it got that nice round blobs um, it is looking like uh, the skin of an animal especially um, let's imagine a dog without fur okay this looks like that so you can generally use it uh, let me try uh, swapping the colors and then see how this is gonna look like yeah the cavities look dark and the peaks look uh, faded and then uh, it's nice and good so whereas the clouds one let's see that okay it's very low frequency wave um, no uh, it looks like a handmade paper uh, texture uh, though it is noise but they are not same and also it looks like a organ uh, muzzle lungs uh, or any cells you have for scientific uh, purposes so that three uh, are the sets of clouds so we had cells we had black and white spots so they are very clear in their own areas black and white spots have got that black white dots whereas clouds don't have that and cells are literally like scales so they are very clear by the names and uh, the distinction is very clear so let's see the creased texture and creased texture is giving me that folded crumpled paper effect definitely it looks like that only let me pick that um, and see what I am getting here so we have the scale and then I'll increase the scale you should be able to see that nice uh, crumpled uh, paper or sometimes a cloth or satin cloth which was not um, it's, it's a crumpled uh, phase so it's really uh, nice to see and we have this nice attribute here called warp intensity it's actually um, bending the texture which uh, not really required so I'm getting that nice handmade crumpled paper effect whereas uh, for crumpled paper maybe you can try um, taking some brown color It's, you should able to see that nice uh, leather also leather which is again crumpled and uneven leathers which are used for writing I'm especially talking about that so that is uh, the creased uh, texture it has got a very unique pattern and I really like the way it, it has come up so let's see uh, the cells then uh, cells uh, have got that unique uh, uh, pattern which has like uh, faceted not faceted but pyramid shape uh, extrusions and they are of different shape just like uh, random gemstones and how does it look it looks like the crumpled paper again and uh, yeah perfectly crumpled paper texture and uh, as you see I'm um, I'm really uh, having a better idea of okay next time if I want to get some result uh, immediately I get that strike in my mind okay this texture is what I should generally use so creased and crystals are same for me you could uh, okay once we will check the texture we have the scale okay when I increase this high frequency it looks like a stucco wall paint that is also really nice stucco wall paint I really like the way it has came awesome okay let me try the um, crystal too um, it is completely low frequency and I'll just increase the scale to see uh, again it looks like some organic uh, leather sheet or crumpled paper or maybe uh, I see some plywood sheets when they aged and all they get a very similar uh, 
surface some wooden patterns i am talking about so in that case you can generally go and edit um, that looks awesome i should able to see that so just explore uh, how things are with this textures and uh, see where you can generally use them and achieve fantastic results